A very good afternoon. Welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Granada. Plans to axe seven MPs from across the region have been announced as part of proposals to rewrite the political map. Constituencies, including Salford, would cease to exist, while others will cross county boundaries for the first time. From Westminster, our political correspondent Claire Ashforth reports. Thanks, Claire. The father of an Iraqi man who died in the custody of the Queen's Lancashire Regiment is calling for the soldiers responsible to be prosecuted. Well done to them, cricket. Lancashire are fighting back on day two of their county championship match at Taunton. They've Good luck to them. Let's see what the weather has in store now. Here's Fred. Thanks, Fred. That's the news so far this afternoon. Don't forget that you and don't forget Granada Reports is at 6 o'clock. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. Detectives are hunting a gunman after a 25-year-old man was found shot in the head in Liverpool. A coroner is reopening an inquest into the death of a woman murdered by her husband who'd breached orders to stay away from her. Well, moving on to football, the headlines with less than half an hour until the transfer window closes. Craig Bellamy... Well, finally, a very special little boy from Stockport met Prince Harry this evening when he was named one of the bravest children in Britain. Very well done to Harley. Now let's see what the weather's doing. Here's Fred. Thanks, Fred. And that's it so far this evening. Don't forget that you can get more back at 6.15 tomorrow morning in daybreak. Until then, have a very good night. Bye-bye. Good afternoon. Welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Granada. Police in Greater Manchester have issued a warning to rioters. We have your pictures and we're coming to get you. More than 100 people have already been arrested after a night of violence and looting in Manchester and Salford. Mark Tattersall reports. Meanwhile, Ed Miliband has arrived in the northwest. The Labour leader wants to see... We'll have more on that story, of course, in Granada Reports at 6. Now the weather, though, with Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's it so far. But don't forget, Granada reports at six. Until then, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye. Good evening. Welcome to the Late News and Sport from ITV Granada. The death toll in the Stockport Hospital poisoning inquiry has risen to five. It's been revealed that two more patients at Stepping Hill may have been given saline solutions spiked with insulin. Meanwhile, detectives have been granted more time to question 27-year-old nurse Rebecca Layton on suspicion of murder. Claire Fallon has the latest. Child protection workers in Cheshire have apologised to three children who were taken from their drug-addicted parents and adopted by a wealthy couple who then went on to physically and mentally abuse them for almost a decade. A review of the case found social workers and police didn't believe the children's pleas, even though teachers had reported their concerns. Anne O'Connor reports. On a cycling, Mark Cavendish was frustrated after missing the time limit in the 18th stage of the Tour de France. The now, let's get the weather from Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's it so far this evening. Don't forget, though, you can always slash Granada. We're back at 6.15 tomorrow morning. Until then, have a very good night. Bye-bye. A very good afternoon. Welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Granada. Inquests have now opened into the deaths of three people at the hospital where police believe drugs have been tampered with. A fourth person's critically ill. Medical staff at Stepping Hill Hospital in Stockport are being told to work in pairs and the issue of drugs is being very closely monitored. Claire Fallon has the latest. Claire Fallon there at Stepping Hill Hospital will have more on that story, of course, in Granada reports at six. In other news, homeowners in Heighton and Liverpool have been assessing the damage caused to their properties by yesterday's burst water main. Around a the country's newest museum opened its doors for the first time today and it's all happening on a significant day for Liverpool as it's the 100th birthday of those famous liver birds. Andy Bonner reports. A bit of history in the making. On to sport, Kerry ann Payne is the first British athlete to qualify for next summer's Olympics. The Stockport... Congratulations to her. Now let's get the weather and the pollen count from Fred. Thanks, Fred. That's it so far this afternoon. Don't forget you can get more. Granada, and don't forget Granada reports at six. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye. A very good afternoon. Welcome to the lunchtime news from ITV Granada. The families of patients at the centre of fears about drug tampering at a hospital in Stockport say they need answers about how their loved ones died. 
Police say saline solution was deliberately spiked with insulin at Stepping Hill Hospital. It's feared three patients who died may have been poisoned. Claire Fallon reports. Two people have been arrested on suspicion of murder and child cruelty after a two-year-old boy was found dead at a house in Lancashire. It comes up. Football, it looks as though Manchester City captain Carlos Tevez could finally get his wish to leave the club. City have accepted, in principle... As the countdown begins to the London Olympics next year, Stockport swimmer Kerry Ann Payne could become the first athlete to secure her place on the British team. Kerry Ann is about to compete. Fingers crossed for that. Now, let's see what the weather has in store and the latest pollen count. Here's Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's it so far this afternoon. Don't forget, though, you can... And don't forget, Granada reports at six. Until then, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.